Guys, my mall reader was gone missing. Yeah, man, I woke up yesterday, I came downstairs, and my mall reader Lily was nowhere to be found. Yeah, man, yesterday was a long day, and I did eventually find out what happened to her, but before we talk about that, let's start from the start. So, in my last video about my mall reader, we just moved her from the Fluval Roma 200 to my brand new Fluval Roma 240. Now, technically, she didn't need to be moved yet, she still would have been fine in the 200 litre for at least another year or two but I already had the 240 now it had much more space in there so it just made sense to move her now. Now the move went very smoothly and went great and soon as we put her in the tank she explored the entire tank. It looked so cool. Like keep in mind when she was in the Roma 200 she already had her cave and she never like hardly ever came out of it. She most certainly did not swim around like she did in the Roma 240 and it kind of comes down to just just the more it'll be comfortable once they get comfortable and once they've picked out their cave they are pretty much gonna chill there for pretty much most of their life but when you first introduce one they obviously need to find their forever home so they do all of that exploring and it's honestly so cool to watch it's mesmerizing man like if any of you are looking to get more real make sure you really enjoy the first few days whilst they're still exploring the tank now if anyone were to ask me i would have thought that she would go for the middle cave that middle cave is the exact same fake cave that she had in the Roma 200 and on top of that the plants that were behind the cave kind of grew over it creating a nice shade and considering that the Mori eel is a nocturnal species I thought she would enjoy that shade which is why I didn't really trim those plants but yeah for some reason she did not seem to want to go towards that cave like she went inside of it a few times but she never really stayed she would come out again and carry on exploring the rest of the tank which which is weird because there wasn't actually that many caves to choose from. Now the little rock structure I made to the left of the tank, that was my next bet because although the actual cave in itself that I put in between all of the rocks is kind of small, the whole rock structure in itself has loads of little gaps where she could hide herself in and come out and all of that and yeah I really thought that if she doesn't go for the middle cave then she must go for the rock structure on the left but once again she seemed to just explore it a little bit, look around and then just carry on exploring the rest of the tank and yeah it was really weird because the cave she seemed to enjoy the most was the one on the right side which to be honest people I thought that's the one cave she was definitely not going to use because that cave is very open it has a lot of open space like you can see right into it all the way to the back and yeah honestly I did not think that she would like that cave I wasn't going to complain because if she does use that cave I get to see her all the time because like I said you can literally look right into that cave all the way through and yeah that's the cave she seemed to have picked well kind of anyway like she would chill there most of the time but then soon as the light started dimming down she would go on to explore the rest of the tank again so it seemed like it was maybe a temporary home but she still hadn't made up her mind properly but yeah i just left her to it now in regards of the feeding she was not eating at all for the first week which to be fair was predictable you see more eels when you move them especially when you buy them from the shop and bring them home that journey is a bit stressful for them and usually they will go off food for at least a week or two so yeah although this journey wasn't as long she was literally going from one tank to another I did kind of anticipate that she might reject food for the first week which is what she'd done but after that first week she did start eating a few pieces of prawns so I could kind of relax on that side now of course the one thing I did have to make sure of is that the tank was escape proof because eels are escape artists and yeah there's a few things you're gonna have to do if you want to keep one now luckily in the fluval row mode you don't actually have to do too much the only things you kind of have to cover up are the holes that they have for the cables and what I've done is I took a sponge I just cut them into small pieces and I stuffed that into those little gaps and that's all you need to do really with the Roma as a tight fitting lid so there was no other way the fish could escape so I felt fairly confident that my Mori eel was not going to escape before we carry on if you are enjoying this video then let me know by leaving a like or a comment and if you want to see more videos like this every single week then please remember to subscribe it really helps me out and currently 
I am uploading twice per week, every Wednesday and every Saturday. But yeah, so that was the first two weeks of my Mori ill being in her new environment, which brings us to yesterday. You know, I woke up, had my little morning routine and I came downstairs and like I do every day, the first thing I'd done was look at the Fluval Roma 240 and of course the first thing I would look for is my Mori ill and that's when I realised that this Mori ill was nowhere to be found and I was really confused because there weren't that many places to hide in that aquarium but I kind of just assumed that she must be in the middle cave because that was the only cave that actually had a blind spot where if she goes in deep enough I actually wouldn't be able to see her so yeah I just thought she was in there because you know I knew the tank was escape proof and if she was anywhere else I would have been able to see her so yeah I went about my day I got a few tasks done and around the afternoon times I looked back into the tank and I realized that she was still nowhere to be found which was very uncharacteristic from her because sometimes she would hide away but usually she would at least pop her head out and you know just kind of see what's going on however once again nowhere to be found and this time I actually took my phone and lit the flashlight into the cave to see whether I could maybe see a tiny bit of her body but nothing so I thought you know what let me just make sure she's safe so I moved the cave to see whether she was underneath and people she was not my Mori ill was not in that cave yo I freaked out immediately because once again people there's not that many places to hide in this aquarium so of course immediately I looked at the other two caves but they were empty as well and I looked into every little gap but my Mori ill was nowhere to be seen my next thought of course was she must have escaped so I checked the gaps but the spot just were still there which really confused me at this point because it looked like this Mori ill was not in an aquarium if she did escape she must have literally lifted the lid which was very very unlikely people so once again I looked into the aquarium and I checked every single little gap and corner and still I could not find this eel and after double checking the aquarium I checked the whole floor I looked underneath the sofas the cabinet you know I was thinking did she come out and sliver away like a snake people it was so much stress man and I was just thinking where did she go now at this point I was quite confident that she did escape and she wasn't in the tank however just to make sure I decided I'm gonna cut up some prawns and I'm just gonna dump them all into the tank you know usually I try to do that hand feeding because when the prawns are on the floor she might go for one or two but then she leaves the rest she actually prefers being fed so I didn't know whether the prawns were gonna work but I was desperate people I just dumped them all into the tank and I was just looking out for any sort of movement and whilst I was scanning the whole aquarium people from the corner of my eye I saw something come out of somewhere take a piece of prawn and shoot back and I immediately looked what was that and there was nothing there I was so confused and it was where the loose cave was on the right side so I looked inside the cave again and it was empty but I swear I saw something from the corner of my eye and then that's when I saw it people I saw Lily's head and I thought wait what because it was at such a weird angle and like it looked like she was coming out from underneath the cave so once again i looked at the side of the cave and i was like wait what is going on where is this ill like from one side i can see her but on the other side i can't is this lily's ghost or is this an optical illusion what's happening i was so confused people and yo i took some footage so hopefully you'll be able to see where my confusion came from because this ill was so big i had no idea where the rest of her body was and i was starting to get worried a bit I thought maybe she kind of got stuck in between the cave and the real rocks and maybe she couldn't get out and maybe that's why she was in this weird angle so I picked up the cave and she suddenly vanished and for a split second I actually did think I just saw Lily's ghost I thought yo nah she definitely escaped passed away somewhere and her ghost came back into the aquarium because this did not make any sense how did I just pick up this cave when I just saw her head and now she was gone and people that's when I saw it. You see, this fake cave that I was holding is hollow, meaning inside it was completely empty and he has a big hole on the bottom that I'm assuming lets water inside so the water goes in there and he kind of weighs down the cave. And yeah, my Mori ill Lily decided to use that small opening as her cave. <laughs> I couldn't even be mad people like technically she was using the cave she just wasn't using it in the way you were supposed to or the way that it was intended but yo I swear the feeling I had I was so worried man like this is what it must feel like to be a dad so yeah people it looks like the cave she settled for was the one that I thought was going to be the least likely because it's so open but of course because this eel was a genius she managed to use that cave in a way where she's still hidden it's 
yeah now i'll be honest guys i'm not really sure whether i like her being in that gap because it is kind of small and the thing is this eel has grown quite a bit in the one and a half years that i've had her and i don't want it to be a case where she keeps eating and gets bigger and then eventually gets stuck in that cave like for now it should be fine because at night time she actually does leave that cave fully and still goes exploring a little bit but at the same time it looks like she also made this cave at home because she always comes back to it so yeah although it's a bit harsh i am thinking next time she comes out fully i might just take the cave out you know kind of force her to pick a new cave because yeah it's just a little bit too dangerous for my liking damn i really feel like a dad what do you think people should i take the cave out or should i leave it in there and let her use it for now let me know in the comments down below and if you want to see the day i moved my mori ill then click right here